Morning. Welcome to Ion Bethel. I'm Paul Zetkowski, your host for tonight's program. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, today we read the newspapers, there's a financial crisis occurring. We, we find that jobs are being lost, industry is shutting down. Our Governor Rell has just recently gone on television and said, it's time to start cutting back government. And we here in Bethel are just in the same boat as everybody else throughout the country. You know, it's sort of saying tough times call for tough measures. And right now, in our little town of Bethel, we're going through a budget process, the annual budget process. And this, and this process basically occurs each year at this particular time. And with me tonight, I have Phil Gallagher. Everybody knows who Phil Gallagher is. He's been around uh, probably as long as Bethel has, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, but seriously, Phil has been involved in government for so long that, you know, he's just nothing but a man of experience in seeing that government is operating efficiently. And Phil is the chairman of the Board of Finance. And tonight, we want to talk to the people essentially about the budget process, how it starts, how does it end up? Phil, welcome to the program again. And I think you and I, have, we're really currently in the, involved right in the middle of the, of the process correct. itself. Yeah. And I think we really should start out, first of all, start by asking this basic question. How does the process get started? You know, and yeah. I, I think that's a fair thing to see because most people, they, they look at it and at the end of the process, either at the annual town meeting or walking into the voting booth and saying, yes, no. You're right, Paul. Most people do get a, do get involved at the end of the process, and right. it's, and I've advocated over the years that more people should get involved at least as spectators uh, at the beginning of the process, which we're going through right now with the uh, with the hearings, so 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 forth. There's a month of February, the board of finance and the board of selectmen, which covers the both of us, yeah. uh, are having hearings in which the various town departments will present their their budget or boards and commissions and uh, and finance and we listen to them we listen to presentation and eventually uh, the board of selectmen will recommend to the board of finance and then the board of finance will recommend to the uh, town meeting and then ultimately to the referendum but it's it's probably it's been going on since the fall you know in the departments the department different department heads are asked to submit their budget to the Town, town controller, oh, right, and uh, so that's for the for most departments, it's a, it's a like a three step process. It goes to the controller, and then it goes to our boards, and then it ultimately it goes to the town meeting. But for five, uh, five or six departments, which are overseen by by commissions or or uh, you know boards, and I'm specifically I'm talking about the board of education, the library board, the park and recreation commission, the um, Senior Center, and I'm leaving out one big one. Um, police. Uh, uh, your pardon? Police. Police. I'm sorry. The, the police is the other one. Police is actually the biggest budget in the town is the Board of Education, obviously. The second biggest is the police, and then the other top three are the Highway, Park and Rec, and the Library. Um, and as I say, they all of those except the Highway Department, of course, which is right under the the Selectman's office right. and, and the uh, Highway Supervisor and Public Works. The rest of them are, are governed by commission, so they go through an extra step. Uh, well, for instance, probably the best illustration is the Board of Education. Um, last week, the superintendent of schools submitted to the Board of Education uh, his recommended budget. And now the Board of Education is uh, holding workshops, and they're going to, uh, to ultimately vote on a budget and uh, recommend, bring then send it on to the selectmen. Well, Previously, also the the library board, the park and rec commission, and the police commission have gone through the same process, and they're recommending a, a budget on to, onto our boards. So there, there's an extra check on, on those items. Probably a good thing because they are the largest uh, expenditures that the town makes. Right. And so then we'll hold our hearings uh, as we are doing now, and then your board will deliberate and make recommendations to to our board. Right. And then. A finance board will have a, uh, a public hearing sometime in late April, I'm sorry, late March, early April, and then we will listen to what the people have to say and uh, we, we may revise the budget, the different aspects of it, and then we send it on to the town meeting, which is the, always the first Monday in, in May. Hey, right. Um, 